guys oh, yeah. welcome back to the channel so today we are going to talk about the differences being pregnant in india and in england <laughs> the way i get treated is different and the way my cousin got treated was different um so the first thing is when you tell the family that you're pregnant the reaction will be like oh we are happy for you but in here when you tell them they're like there's so much emotions crying and i think my family generally don't really uh what show their emotions through that kind of stuff they like <laughs> smile and they're <laughs> definitely happy but <laughs> it's just not always showing emotions or whatever mm. i'm the other thing is in England, once you get pregnant, you go to work if you're really sick. In my case, I was really sick throughout my pregnancy. Even now, <laughs> I'm really sick. Mm. Um, so you get the si off sick from work and unless if you don't have anything wrong with you and you can still continue working yeah. up until you drop your baby, basically. But yeah. in India, there's a different thing where at seven months, uh, where my family will come and collect me and take it to my house, my mm. family house, and look after me until the baby's been born and the baby's been like two, three months old. Something. Yeah. I'm not really sure, but I know they do that. Mm. But in England, they don't do that. No, you know? in England, it's the responsibility of the parents to look after the kids. So mum stays with dad right the way up until the kid is born. I'll be in the room when he's born. Um, I'll then be there through his life for the first couple of days, right the way, yeah, obviously onwards. Um, and the point being is I prefer that over the Indian version. I like the Indian thing where the mum, the grandmother looks after the kid and the mum because it's nice to be like family connected, but it's then taking it away from me. It's our child, so it's our responsibility it's, to look um... after the child. It's kind of like mm. not having the proper emotions with the baby. Not having the connection and The stuff. connection at yeah. the early age. Mm. So he doesn't want to do it. And totally understand yeah. it. And we live in a different part of the country in England. Mm. And the other thing is, as Chris mentioned, he can be with me when I'm giving birth. Yeah. But in India, men are not allowed in that room. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't let, they, don't, they don't let see it what's mm. happening or how the baby's been born they generally know what's happening but they don't let the husband be with the wife mm. but in england yes my husband can be we're part, with, of, it, yeah. we're part of it yeah he mm. can be with me when i'm dropping the baby and the other thing is is buying things for the baby yeah <laughs> in india is everything is last minute when yeah. the baby's born and they will tell you, oh, it's a boy. And they just go run and just, oh, sure. it's a panic mode. <laughs> and everybody out and getting stuff for the baby. Yeah. But in England, uh, we do a gender reveal yeah. at 20 weeks. So they will, you know, if you want to know, definitely they will tell you. Yeah. And in our case, yes, we know we are having a baby boy. So the family can get things um get sorted yeah. way before the baby gets here um so for example car pushchair car seat i mean that kind of stuff we don't really use it in india so mm. don't really need it um yeah but what uh, we've done is we were going to have a baby reveal like a, a baby shower we call it which is basically where family all turns up to our house um lots of cake and food and basically they just turn up and give presents for the baby for when he arrives um we couldn't do that this year because of the covid rules and restrictions in the uk so what we did instead is we go around to individual people's houses and sort of spend time with them individually uh which i prefer if i'm honest because it's more personal um but we spend some proper time with the family and they can give the gifts and explain what they are and we'll look at them and go i have no idea what that is but it looks cute <laughs> yeah it's, it's majority of the stuff we got it we, we, we were looking at the baby stuff i'm like um what do we, what do, do, with we this? do with this <laughs> <laughs> we i think we we are in a learning curve mm. we don't even know half of the stuff what we'll it's learn. used for yeah it, it's <laughs> funny like when chris's mom tell me oh this is what we use for and i'm like uh, okay i have no idea yeah. And obviously, and my mom offered me coming and staying with me mm. because in India is obviously I will go and stay with them. In mm. this case, it's different. So yeah. I hope she, but my mom doesn't even know half of the, what the stuff means because we, 
We never used it. No. <laughs> Actually, we'll, have to no read the, we'll have to read the little instruction book like, what does this do? <laughs> yes, literally. So it's it's definitely different how things done in India and how things done in England. Mm. And in India, they don't even tell you the gender of the baby mm. because of, you know, whatever going on or they, you know, the, the stuff, stuff. stuff you know. <laughs> but in England, they definitely tell you. But mm. if you want to keep it as a surprise, then... Yes, yeah, definitely. you can surprise or your choice basically. Yeah. That's the thing. Over here, you, when you're pregnant, you have lots of scans. There's you see the baby from what you saw it about 14 uh, 12, weeks, 12 weeks, 12 weeks. Yeah. yeah, and they have a scan. You can actually see the baby with the ultrasound, um, and you see that 12 weeks, 16 weeks, 20 weeks, and uh, then 32 weeks. 32 I'm coming weeks. up to it. Yeah. Um. So soon I will be having a scan as yeah. well. Um. To see how the baby's doing, what position mm. the baby is. And they check the baby, how tall the baby is, how yeah. big the baby is. So and measure um, him as well every two weeks. As every well, two weeks from to see how he's growing, developing, and that from, kind of thing. Yeah, from twenty eight weeks, every uh, two weeks they scan me. Yeah. Um. So our baby mm. is tall, <laughs> and he weighs currently at twenty twenty eight weeks. He weighs two point eight pounds. Two point eight pounds. Yeah. Yeah. So. He's growing fast. He's Apparently, he's got a triple in size between now and when he's born. According to what everyone's saying, he's going to triple. So he's, we, we're looking at about nine pound baby. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. But <laughs> I, don't I don't know what that means. I was about nine pounds, I think, wasn't I? Yes. Chris was a big baby as yeah. well. And he was four weeks late. I'm definitely not looking forward to that. So nine pounds and four weeks late. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, my due date is December fourteen. So if if we go with Chris, January, then it's a January <laughs> baby, not a December baby. And that's fine. I hope he comes early because I'm already <laughs> like I don't have any space. I'm so uncomfortable. Mm. You know, I even he's a very active baby. He's mm. been kicking on my rib cage and <laughs> he bruised her rib cage. He kicked yes, that hard. He bruised my <laughs> rib cage. Can you believe that? Yeah, yes. Little but, Apart from that, the baby's healthy yeah. and everything. Yeah, he's so, good. So, yeah, you don't really get this stuff in India. Yeah. When in England you have a lot of toys. There's a bit of a difference, yeah. Even after the baby, you get the maternity leave. And yeah. And you can take like nine months off mm. and then look after the baby, then go to work. So, yeah. That, that that's the difference. Yeah. I mean, if if you if you guys know any difference between England and India or anywhere you're from, mm. drop a comment below and yeah. let us know. Let's get a discussion started. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> All right then. Um, that's it for the video today, yep. and I'll see you guys soon. Yes, okay. see you soon. Bye. Bye.